Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Terrible Lighting. Uh, yeah, it's winter, it gets dark at like 3.30 here, so yeah, I have to make do with my IKEA lights. Anyways, we're not here to talk about IKEA lights, we are here to talk about music. Here's the thing, my channel has been missing an intro music for a very long time. And since I know how to make music, I can make an outro song. And since we're here, I thought I might as well show you the process, kind of like how, I think it was my Christmas special last year where I did something out of the Firelink Shrine music. Or did that? Did I even post that? Fuck, it was like so long ago. Whatever. Yeah. We're gonna get into some Ableton Live action here. So let's go ahead and do just that. Okay, so this video is going to be recorded slightly differently. As you can see, Ableton is already recording my microphone, but I'm also recording this shit with Audacity and then just wouldn't gel. Uh, luckily, I think we're just gonna use VSTs uh, today. In fact, I know what I'm going to be using because I was downloading some sample packs and I got this one off of samples from Mars. Uh, this is kind of like a tape effect type thing. And let's just put in a simpler here. Simp. And anyways, this tape thing has... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This one, this sound. And this sound got me inspired here. Um, because it... Oh shit, I had the octave turned down. Uh... It sounds really good. It has like that kind of retro-y uh, vibe to it. So let's just try to come up with some chord progression here. Okay, this is what we came up with. basically just a very basic chord progression and what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the tempo to a nice synth wave type beat of 110 I think that about where oh yeah why am I in fucking yeah this is the mode we want to be in uh, yeah 110 that should be pretty good here so let's go ahead and record this okay here's what the finished product sounds like And what I went ahead and did right here is I added a generic compressor and I added this OTT, this thing, it's in the multi band, the dynamics and multi band dynamics uh, folder of Ableton. This shit is like truly, it's like fucking, what is it called in FL Studio gross beat? The thing that just like, you put it on anything and it makes shit sounds good. Like, you kind of put it on anything it, and it makes shit sound good. Okay, the next thing we need to do is add some drums. So, I do have a synth wave drum pack that I downloaded ages ago so let's try and find some um so let's go ahead and try to find we're not wanna we don't want to do the loops here let's try to find a nice kick there's like so many of these uh, I don't really like a lot of these but there's a ton of them to choose from a lot of these feel sort of too EDM-ish for the vibe I'm going for yeah, something like this would work. Let's just put it in there, uh, shorten it a little bit. The thing with Synthwave is we don't want to go for anything too complicated with the drums. Probably I'm going to try to find a snare as well uh, right here. Something nice and reverby.
yeah something like this but this is a little bit too low I want a snare that has like a nice long sort of reverby wind down to it yeah something like this for the end here nice four bar four by four loop Whoops, yeah, that is not in the right place. What the hell am I doing? There we go. That's much better. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, and I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and we'll give this a duplicate. Let me just zoom out so I got the whole loop. Control D. Fuck, I think my keyboard is running out of battery. Gotta charge every fucking thing nowadays. All right, last thing is the hi-hat, which whenever I make synth wave is the thing that I have the most trouble with. We want something. See, these are a little bit, I always found these to be too organic. Uh, they don't have that like real drum machine type. That's nice. Drum machine type effect. Luckily, your boy has a shit ton of hi hats. Let's check out the CR78. That one always has. Yeah, hell yeah. No, that's a little bit too. That's too 8 bit. But I have plenty to choose from. Terrace House, that has some nice drum hits in it a bit more housey but you know it has that sort of drum machine type sound that we're going for oh that's a classic that is a classic for you Actually, we can check Ableton itself. It has some of these nice, yeah, it has some of these classic drum machine sounds, 909s and shit like that. I don't think it has anything from the Lin drums. It has a CR78 as well. Maybe a 606. A 606 has quite a nice hi-hat sound. Let's just give that a little whirl, you know? Maybe some, maybe like a faster pattern. Mm -hmm. It's a bit, bit too trappy. Although, not necessarily. Does it have the open ones as well? I think it does. Oh yeah, why the fuck do you have a search function Ableton, right? Uh, yeah, it does have it. Just to shorten. What the hell? Oh yeah, turn on the track. I think we got something here. And maybe just I don't want to make it again I don't want to make it too trappy but I feel like it's gonna turn out that way hmm I still don't know whether I should go for the faster pattern or not 
maybe just try maybe just try this actually we can just duplicate see how that sounds I'm still not sure. So this is the thing though. It's all about just listening and what sounds better. Let me just check it out like this. Hmm. No, I think I like the previous version better. Maybe we can add some parts where it speeds up like this. Again, not to go for the trap. We don't want trap drums here, but... I think that will work. I think that's gonna be the sauce right here. I think we're on to something. Yeah, all we need to do now is to just duplicate this. And actually, just to be sure, because Ableton is kind of weird with the overlapping things. Uh, let me just delete this. And let's go ahead and do a nice little duplicate. Okay, so for the master group, I decided to go for the classic glue compressor, equalizer, and the drum bus to give it a little bit of grit. I don't think we need that much drive, just a little bit. Mm. Okay, so I decided to go for the glue compressor, equalate, and the drum bus, which I think I'm gonna bring down the distortion even more. Let's see what this goes for. And of course, we're gonna start adding the reverb here, which is a little bit too much here. Actually, let's go ahead and go for, let's go ahead and go for a small room reverb here instead of the living room, uh, which is right here. Cut out some of the low. Yeah, see, that's too much. Ableton always does this. So the thing is, Ableton always does this with their effects that they're always just too much with their presets. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll adjust that further. There's gonna need to be a lot of work with this uh, off screen, but you will, you will not see that. You will see just the finished product. Okay, so for the snare itself, I added the snare room, what else? Fucked around with it as well and added the gate effect with some side chaining. Uh, probably gonna have to lower the treasure a little bit. Yeah, so for the hi hat, I went for generally the same effects as with the snare, but we're gonna have to adjust this a little bit. Okay, let's go for the small room reverb as well for the hi-hat. Oh, 
Okay, that sounds a little bit like shit, uh, but we can always fix that. Okay, I think we got something here. I think we got something here. I think we got something here, yeah. My ears are getting fucking burnt out. Uh, it's a common thing you get when you're working on something and you keep listening to the same four bar loop over and over again. So what I'm gonna do is we will take a break and I'll get to working on the drums. Okay, we're back. One thing I forgot to mention. Well, first of all, I did some organization. Uh, let's have everything properly named. And I also put this uh, effect on the master. This is the DAW cassette. Uh, it has like that, again, it's a cassette effect, so it mimics like if the song was played through a cassette player, and it kind of gives that uh, sort of low fighting to everything. You see how it kind of sounds shitty. But this just sort of like mellows everything out. Okay. I know you're probably sick of listening to the same loop, but again, that's music production for you. Uh, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do a bit of bass action right here. Oh yeah, I should have this on. So this is the bass from another sample pack. This right here, Soviet synth from Mars, uh, which well, synth from Mars, uh, synths from Mars. Okay, here's, yeah, this is the one, Soviet synths. Uh, so these are all like uh, instrument versions of like old Soviet sort of shitty synthesizers. Not even shitty, but like like proper Soviet synthesizers and has like a really cool, this is like a classic. classic 80s vibe so I think we're gonna try coming up with something here um, I should do an, do this with an arpeggiator but eh. Okay, cool. So I came up with the bass line and made an absolute mess of recording it. So we're going to go ahead and clean this shit up just to make it sound nice and proper. Okay. Just have everything be nice and tidy here. Cleaned up the bass a little bit. This is what it sounds like now. Let's have a listen. Yeah, just sort of a very basic uh, synthwave style bass. The last thing I want to add, and then I'll go ahead and just sort of do the mixing and messing around with the arrangement and shit, is some type of lead. So I'm going to look through all my synths and let's see what I come up with. Okay, so I went with the classic Tal Juno LX. This is the Roland Juno uh, sort of emulator. Oh yeah, this is soloed, that's why this is not sounding. This is the sound. Uh, it's a preset, uh, but I messed around with the um, sort of filters and shit a little bit. Might not sound like much, but I think within the arrangement it's gonna work. Okay, cool, so we have all the elements. Uh, but there's still quite a lot of work to be done. Again, first thing I'll work on is going to be the arrangement. Uh, obviously we need like an intro, sort of middle section, chorus, uh, some sort of interlude, 
I'll mess around with the drums a little bit more with the effects and the synths as well because I need to uh, do the effects on the bass and the synth as well as a little bit on the master we'll mess around with that however this is however with this I just wanted to show you guys how I make music when I make music uh, this is just sort of my process mainly sometimes things uh, go a little bit differently for me uh, really I go off of a sound as my inspiration uh, that's really like my main starting point always if I find a sound or a sample or whatever that I really like and I base something around that so that might be like bass it might be a lead synth it might be a pad it might even be drums uh, which is it's just how I do stuff still what I wanted to say is uh, this is going to be my outro music from now on it'll also be probably featured in other videos as well I'll, I'll post the full song as well probably it's going to take me a couple of days to finish anyways we have the end of the year coming up and all that the other thing is the other crucial thing is January 2022 if you guys don't know probably if you've been around my channel you know uh, there is a thing called January uh, which takes place every year in January the idea being that you post a short so sort of like musical interlude or idea or little snippet of a song or whatever every day for the month of January and I've done it pretty much for the past two years uh, last year was the first year I took it like well this year this year was the first year I took it really seriously but I will be doing it next year as well uh, so if you want to go ahead and see more music stuff you can always follow my Instagram mr underscore sketchhead it's in the description as well and yeah this is just something I wanted to do for a while some music stuff because um, I never have time to do any music stuff and it's always fun I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here if you did like this video make sure to give it a like comment subscribe turn on post notifications yeah and follow me on Instagram as well take care everyone and peace out